When I was asked what to speak about, I thought, why not be selfish? I'll talk about what I know best, and that's research. I'm a researcher, it's in my blood. Um, and the other ulterior motive is that I believe that EFMC, we have the strongest, uh, most powerful research track out of all the FM conferences that are around. And hopefully that you, uh, you will see that today. Um, so I just want to give you a few of my thoughts on how research can influence the FM industry. Okay. There's a guy on the screen there. Uh, he probably has the best name that I've ever seen. Ashley Brilliant, that is his real name. Uh, some of you may have seen him before, but he's quite famous for producing quotes, uh, phrases in no more than 17 words, okay? Um, and there's one that always uh, hits me quite hard, um, and it's this. The good ideas are quite common, okay? But actually putting those ideas into practice and doing something with them that's the bit which is quite tough. That's the bit which isn't so common. If I, translate, if I translate that into research terms, we're good at researching, we're good at methodology, we're good at systematically producing things, but actually convincing people that that stuff is worth selling, worth applying, worth putting into practice, that's the challenge. And that's the challenge I want to present to you today. That you're going to see some amazing speakers, you're going to see some amazing work, but what do we do with that work? Where's it going to go? And for me, that's the next level of where we need to take FM research, to push the boundaries, to take it into the future, into companies, into practice. So there's a big word which gets bounced around UK universities in particular a lot, and it's this one, impact, impact, impact. It probably gets spoken about in my institution in Liverpool Oh, at least 100 times a day. Every single day we're talking about impact. What is impact? It's essentially the good stuff that researchers do to help the world a better play, be a better place. Um, there's a wonderful book and wonderful research by this guy, if, you, if you've come across him before, a guy called Mark Reed from, from the UK. Um, he has a book called The Research Handbook, very, very good book. And he also has a really cool uh, Twitter feed called Fast Track uh, Research, which you can check out. But he talks about the fact that research, it needs to benefit people. It needs to show benefits. Those benefits can be economic, cultural, political, attitudinal, actually convincing people to change behavior. Okay. And these are the things that give me, that's what gets me out of bed in the morning. That's why I like to do research. But then here's the challenge, okay? Researchers, uh, me included, we're trained very well how to do research. We're trained very well how to do that. But not necessarily how to generate impact. What I mean by that is when we're, we're often unprepared, or Mark Reed will, will say, we're often unprepared when people actually say to us, oh, I like your research, I want to do something with it. I want to take it, I want to use it in my company, and we kind of, ah, how are we going to do that? And that takes me back to the quote from Ashley Brilliant. Yeah? It's not so easy to do that bit. So the challenge I'd like to present with you today is kind of flipping a coin, two sides. A lot of the research that we produce, and I will confess, a lot of the research that we see over the years at EFMC and many other conferences with FM, it focuses on one side of the coin. We do research which fits really, really well within academia. It produces citations, it produces papers, okay? It produces teaching material. But we need to start flipping it to see the other side of the coin as well. How we get that research out into the economy, into, pol into policy, into practice, into the environment, okay? And that's the side of the coin I would like, hopefully, some of you to take away today. Impact, research impact, it's very common that it influences things through those things that you see on the screen there. But they're all really things that are inside academia. If we want to push research outside of academia, we need to give it attention. Okay? Social media, a quick plug for you, hashtag EFMC2019, tweet it today. Show people the research that is going on. Okay? Put it out there. I will be tweeting all day long like I usually do, um, you're free to, to follow me, and you, if you hit the hashtag, you'll see various things coming through. But giving research attention, 
It's no longer enough to just produce a paper. We've got to give it attention. We've got to put it out there, like a musician puts out their, their, their songs. We have to do the same with our research. But really, if we're going to influence change, we need to think about research impact and putting it into policy, changing behaviors, influencing the economy. So for any practitioners in the room, have a look at some of the research that's going on today. Interact with the speakers, the researchers. Ask them how you can use their research. Okay? And that's the big takeaway I'd like to give you. So thank you very much. I'm now going to introduce... Thank you.